kids' educational games. Hello, my name is Mr. Beaker. Welcome to my laboratory, where I will teach you about chemical elements, the periodic table of elements, properties of solids, liquids, and gases, such as sugar, water, helium, and oxygen. Perhaps you remember me from another course that I teach, the states of matter. If you have not taken the states of matter course, it's a great one to complete before taking this course. I've been very busy getting my laboratory ready for us. As I discussed in the states of matter course, matter is everywhere and takes up space. It comes in three forms, solids, liquids, and gases. For example, wood is a solid, rain is a liquid, and helium is a gas. We see and touch many solids and liquids every day. Some elements, such as gases, cannot be seen. In a science laboratory, we have many tools that help us see, touch, and experiment with matter. If we used a very powerful electron microscope in the laboratory to explore matter, we could see elements, atoms, and molecules. So what are elements, atoms, molecules, and compounds? Here's a brief description. An element is the smallest building block of matter that cannot be broken down into two or more different types of matter. Examples of elements are iron, copper, silver, gold, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. The lightest elements are hydrogen and helium. An atom is the smallest part of an element. A molecule is a group of atoms that are chemically joined together. A water molecule has three atoms, two hydrogen atoms with one oxygen atom. A compound is two or more elements that are joined together chemically. Compounds can be made up of two atoms or hundreds of atoms. On Earth, most hydrogen is found combined with other elements in compounds, such as water. I put a periodic table chart in the laboratory to show you how scientists refer to elements. We will use the periodic table chart during this course. During the 1800s, a scientist named Dmitri Mendeleev arranged the names of chemical elements on a chart. He put the elements in groups of rows and columns on the chart to make it easier to find chemical properties of each element. He called that chart the periodic table. Dimitri knew that more elements would be discovered during later years, so he left blank spaces on the chart for other scientists to add elements that they discover. Scientists have known about many elements such as gold, silver, copper, and carbon for hundreds of years. By 2009, nearly 200 years later, scientists discovered more elements, and now the periodic table contains 118 different element names. Each element shown on the periodic table uses symbols such as HE, NE, F, or O that stands for the element. For example, the symbol for oxygen is O. The symbol O stands for one atom of oxygen. The symbol for hydrogen is H. Zn is zinc, Fe is iron, and He is helium. When two or more symbols are combined, that's a formula. The formula for water is H2O. H is the symbol used for hydrogen, and O is the symbol used for oxygen. Isn't it amazing that with a few letters we can write many words? For example, a combination of only 26 letters make up every word in the English language. It's even more amazing that a combination of 118 elements make up, even better, everything in the universe.
O2 equals oxygen. H2O equals water. HE equals helium. N2 equals nitrogen. CO2 equals carbon dioxide. During the 1700s, a scientist used a spark to combine hydrogen gas with oxygen gas. Those sparks created condensation water molecules. Two atoms of hydrogen combined with one atom of oxygen. The sparks created water vapor that formed condensation. As shown here, the condensation forms in a glass tube and then drips water into a glass container. So, what is water? A water molecule has three atoms. Two hydrogen atoms, H2, with one oxygen atom, O. An atom is the smallest particle of an element, such as the oxygen or hydrogen elements in water. Atoms join together to form molecules. Because water consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, Scientists write H2O as the chemical formula for water. On Earth, most hydrogen is found combined with other elements in compounds such as water. Let's build the chemical properties of water. We know the chemical formula for water is H2O. That is, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Let's find hydrogen and oxygen on the periodic table. First, I'll click and drag a hydrogen element from the periodic table and drop it in the left glass container. And then I'll get the second hydrogen element. Next, I'll get one oxygen element and drop it in the left glass container. Excellent! The mixture explodes and creates condensation. Water molecules. What is carbon dioxide? At room temperatures, carbon dioxide is an odorless, colorless gas that is non-flammable. During 1750, Joseph Black, a Scottish chemist and physician, identified carbon dioxide. The symbol for carbon dioxide is CO2. We know the chemical symbol for carbon dioxide is CO2. That is one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Let's find carbon and oxygen on the periodic table. First, I'll click and drag the one carbon element from the periodic table and drop it in the glass container. Next, I'll get one oxygen element and drop it in the glass container, then another oxygen element. Excellent! Carbon dioxide is an odorless, colorless gas that is non-flammable. You cannot see carbon dioxide. What is helium? Helium is usually found as a gas and has no color or smell. Helium is lighter than air. Helium is found everywhere in the universe. Like hydrogen, it is the second most common element. Helium is used in many different ways, such as a refrigerant or as a lifting gas for balloons. Helium was discovered by the French astronomer Pierre Janssen during a total solar eclipse in Guntur, India during 1868. English chemists Norman Lockyer and Edward Franklin named helium. They named it Helios, the Greek name for the god of the sun. The chemical symbol for helium is HE. Helium floats because it is lighter than the nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide that make up most of the air on Earth. If you put helium in a balloon, the balloon will float. We know the chemical symbol for helium is HE. Let's find helium on the periodic table. This time, I'll click and drag the helium element from the periodic table and drop it in the helium tank. Helium in the tank goes into the balloon and up, up and away I go. 
What is oxygen? You're breathing in oxygen molecules right now. All living organisms need oxygen to survive. At room temperature, oxygen is a gas. Oxygen is a colorless and odorless compound. Earth's atmosphere consists of about 20% oxygen. Earth is the only planet in the solar system with enough oxygen available to let us survive. Oxygen is the third most plentiful element in the universe by mass after hydrogen and helium. The chemical symbol for oxygen is O2. We know the chemical symbol for oxygen is O2. That is two oxygen atoms. Oxygen is the eighth element of the periodic table and found in the second row. Excellent. At room temperature, oxygen is a gas. Oxygen is a colorless and odorless compound. You cannot see oxygen. What is nitrogen? Almost 80% of Earth's atmosphere is made of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is a clear gas that has no smell when it is in pure form. You cannot see nitrogen. Daniel Rutherford discovered nitrogen in 1772. But in 1790, it was named by J. Chaptal, a chemist. The chemical symbol for nitrogen is N2. We know the chemical symbol for nitrogen is N2, that is, two nitrogen atoms. Nitrogen is the seventh element of the periodic table, located between carbon and oxygen. Great! One nitrogen element, and the second nitrogen element. Excellent! Nitrogen is a clear gas that has no smell when it is in its pure form. You cannot see nitrogen. What is sodium chloride? In 1807, Sir Humphrey Davy discovered sodium chloride. The chemical formula for sodium chloride is NaCl. Sodium chloride has two atoms. One sodium atom, Na, with one chlorine atom, Cl. Combining one sodium atom with one chlorine atom creates salt. We put salt on the food we eat. We know the chemical formula for sodium chloride is NaCl, that is, one sodium atom with one chlorine atom. Sodium is the seventh element of the periodic table, located between carbon and oxygen. Let's find sodium and chlorine on the periodic table. First, I'll click and drag the one sodium element from the periodic table and drop it in the salt shaker. Next, I'll get one chlorine element and drop it in the salt shaker. Excellent! Combining one sodium atom with one chlorine atom creates salt. What is sugar? Sugar is found naturally in plants, such as sugar cane and sugar beets. Sugar is also found in my favorite food, ice cream. A common sugar is also known as glucose, a molecule composed of six carbon atoms, C6 with 12 hydrogen atoms, H12, and 6 oxygen atoms, O6. The chemical formula for glucose is C6H12O6. If you look at sugar under a microscope, you would see small cube shapes. These cubes are sugar crystals. We know the symbol for glucose, C6H12O6. That is, six carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. Let's find the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen elements on the periodic table and make ice cream. 
First, I'll click and drag six carbon elements from the periodic table and drop them in the ice cream machine. Next, I'll get 12 hydrogen elements and drop them in the ice cream machine. And finally, I'll get six oxygen elements and drop them in the ice cream machine. Excellent! Now that you know about the periodic table, elements, and element symbols, try matching element symbols to elements. Drag and drop the element name shown on the top, such as carbon, helium, hydrogen, nitrogen, or oxygen, to element cards shown on the bottom. For example, drag helium to the element card on the left that contains the element symbol for helium. Good luck! Helium Excellent! Carbon Great! Oxygen Excellent! Hydrogen Great! Nitrogen Excellent! Congratulations! You have completed the elements course. Now you know each element is made of one kind of atom. Elements are organized in the periodic table by their chemical properties. Symbols for solid, liquid, and gaseous substances such as sugar, C6H12O6, water, H2O, helium, HE, oxygen, O2, nitrogen, N2, and carbon dioxide, CO2. Living organisms and most materials are composed of just a few elements. Common symbols of salts such as sodium chloride, NaCl. 